All right, so today I'm gonna do a good old fashioned tool review. And yeah, I know, I know, I know the elephant room is, the beard's gone. Just move past it, folks, it's, it's gone. It's, was not intentional, different story, different time. Maybe it'll make the blooper reels. We don't talk about it, but you past it. Are you past it? Okay. So a tool, tool review today. We haven't done a new tool or part in a while, but there's something I've been seeing people using more often and I kind of wanted to get in on this and give it a try. So I quick set up a little folding table right here. I have not even taken it out of the box yet. It may be broken into pieces, but we'll see it together. So let's, let's take a look at what I got. So this come from the old Harbor Freight here. And like I said, I just quick folded up a table, a little folding table here and set it up so we could unbox it and check it out here. This is the uh, ultrasonic parts cleaner. And I've seen people using them and I'm not one that'll buy into a lot of uh, internet stuff. So let's take a look and see if this thing's all it's really cracked up to be. I've got some parts that... Uh, are destined to make this thing fail and if it and if it lives through it and works through it then we'll know it's a good a good unit so let's open it up and see how it's boxed up here they appear to be the instructions yeah we don't we don't read those uh let's see uh maybe we should have read them on how to get the thing out of the box let's see if we can just kind of turn it up here and um, I give them a, a A plus on boxing. Okay, now that we got the box carefully removed from it, there we go. Let me. Carefully set that to the side. All right, here she is. The fancy dancy central machinery ultrasonic cleaner. Our little basket to put all of our goodies in cord it's it's pretty deep actually i mean it's it's a pretty good size pretty good size you got a valve on the side to drain it they make two different ones of these they make a smaller one and this bigger one and uh the smaller one i want to do some carburetors and stuff and even taking apart the main body of the carburetor i don't think would have ever fit into the smaller one i believe i can get a main body in here it looks as though it's deep enough Got these little rubber feet to set it up off her so all the crud can settle and not back in the car. Appears to have rubber feet down here. So we've got a timer and a temperature switch and we can adjust our temperature, adjust our timer, and a cleaner on and off. Seems pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Seems like it's, uh, seems like it makes sense. Only no stinking instructions. Let me get the the cord hooked up here and uh, plug this thing in. Oh, look at that. I'm saying this thing. All right. So give me a minute. I'm gonna fill this thing up with liquid and uh, then we'll go from there. So give me just a minute. All right, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so I've got a very rusty, crusty valve spring. I don't know if you can see how rusty and, and nice it is. I've got a, I've got a uh, retainer or a, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I got it and it's uh, got more, you know, it's got more junk on it than a than a Hillary Clinton email, and uh, so it's it's like covered in crud. And there's another little piece. So 
we're going to put these little pieces in here. Just going to kind of plop them right in there. Actually, hold, hold the bus. I'm going to talk about everything first. And then I got this old dirty piston here that's pretty crudded up. It's got a lot of carbon buildup on it. So first off, let's turn this thing on. It's set on 15 minutes. Let's crank up the the heat here. Let's do 75 degrees. Sound like a good good temperature? We'll do 75 degrees. Uh, and we'll put it on for 15 minutes and it's heating up. So I'm gonna give it a minute to warm up before I put these in here and we'll see how long it takes for it to, to get warm. And uh, once it gets warm, uh, hopefully a full size piston fits in here. This is an old piston, it's got a couple of holes drilled in it. So at the end of the day, it's just gonna be nice to see how it cleans it up and see how much of the work it takes out of the job for me. Uh, I'm gonna let this thing heat up and uh, as soon as it's heated up, I'll come back and we'll put the parts in and turn it on and see what happens. While that's heating up, let's talk about uh, the engine for Whalen real quick. I know some of y'all are waiting on an update on it. Uh, I actually filmed it the other day and never posted it. So yeah, here's an engine update while that's heating up. Check that out and we'll be right back with uh, the rest of the first look on this uh, ultrasonic cleaner. Uh, I'm doing this with y'all for the first time, so you're gonna see my instant reactions to it. And maybe it'll uh, give you some ideas on what you I, like. I told everybody I'd update them when I got the intake here for Wayland. The intake is here and uh, very cool. Uh, again, as I mentioned in a previous video, this is an intake that I had purchased a while back. Uh, before this build ever started. Really, I purchased it with nothing to put it on. I purchased it because I got a smoking deal on it. And uh, there's been times since I bought it, I wish I had that money back because I didn't have anything for it. Well, this project came along and gave me the perfect home for it. So I'm kind of glad I got it now. But now it's pretty much gonna come down to, I've got the heads that came off this motor over there and I got them stripped down, got all the valves and everything out of them and I'm just gonna go through them, clean them up real good, clean the ports up real good and the heads that come off of it are going back on it because we really don't have much choice. The budget is blown on this and uh, yeah, we're running, running tight on funds. So it is what it is. This is what the motor is gonna be and we'll have to address some of the other issues that my piss poor planning um, brought into light. And when I say piss poor planning, I mean the fact that I didn't plan the budget out for much of anything else. So as we'll go, you'll see how that's gonna bite me in the bud on things like the transmission and things. So yeah, yeah, fun times, fun times, fun times, good times. It's a great day at Gerald's, great day at Gerald's. Now I'm gonna set the parts in here. And once we get done, I'll bring you in and show you these controls a little, a little closer. But now I'm gonna set the parts in here. Little spring over there. And uh, take this old piston. And let's see if it'll just fit down in there over here. So, just so you know, uh, I don't think you can see it from there. The, uh, the piston fits all in there except just a little sliver is up top. But once this thing starts going, it should coat it. So, I'm gonna put the lid on it. And I'm gonna hit the switch and see how she goes. I don't know if you can hear that. It's very, very quiet, but sometimes the camera can pick that stuff up but there it is, it's running. It's set on a 15 minute timer. So we're gonna let this thing run for 15 minutes and then we'll be right back. And when, as soon as the timer goes off or as it gets close to going off, I'll bring you back in here and we'll expose these okay, parts. Okay, so while this thing is running and finishing up, it's got like eight minutes left. Um, 
hopefully this low low hum of this thing doesn't interfere with the sound on here figured i'd show you some of the the buttons and features and all while it's doing it no reason to i guess wait till the end so on here this is our timer this is uh uh, in minutes, I, I, I think it'll go all the way up to 30 minutes. I haven't really actually looked at the book. We we filed it over there, remember? But this is the button to adjust your time. Uh, when you click it, it goes up in five minute increments. I just set it for 15 minutes. Don't know if that's long enough or what. This is a shot in the dark. This is your button to turn the actual uh, cleaner part on, the, the ultrasonic part. This is your uh, heating switch uh, and this is your temperature control you click it and it goes up and all there's on and off pretty self-explanatory not much to it uh, you're not really supposed to do this but let's be impatient and take a peek look at all the crud floating on top of that water uh, yeah I'm kind of anxious to see what this does We've got seven minutes left, uh, and I'll bring you back in here. And I'm running it at 75 degrees. I don't know if that's a good temperature. I, it's going to take some experimenting and some playing with it. I was planning on catching that last minute, and I couldn't get the camera started fast enough, so it just cut off. You kind of hear it settling down in there. It's kind of weird sound. It's not like one of them old horror movies, but let's uh, let's take a look and see what we got. Is it weird that it smells good? There's something wrong with me. All right. Let's try to... Shake all the crud off. It's an old table, so I'm gonna sit right here. Let's start with, woo, that's warm. Start with the smallest part and wipe it off. Remember, these parts were completely covered in crud. Look at this. That looks like a brand new piece. Some of this stuff that's, that's going to be asking a lot of, I know. Woo, woo, woo. Warm, warm. Okay, this piston's still stained, as you can see, but there's no carbon buildup on it anymore. All the carbon's gone. This is some kind of dark stain, but you can see it's it's fairly clean. We may uh, we may try another piston run through there. Let's take a look at this valve spring here. See what it does about rusty parts. If we wipe all the liquid off of it, y'all ain't gonna believe this. And keep in mind now, I gotta play with the heat and the timing to see what it is. Um, but you've seen this thing before I put it in there, how rusty and crusty it was. Look at that. There's still a few little specks here and there, but that thing is pretty, pretty cool. I'm actually very impressed with it. The, the thing, to, to see how clean that came. I mean, and that, that gives you the, the world of hope right there at what this thing can do. And to go from a rusty, crusty valve spring to that, uh, wow. This thing is, uh, this thing is pretty, pretty impressive. I got to, I got to give it to it. This is uh, pretty impressive. Well, I don't want to contaminate my results on this piston with, uh, with putting it back in there and trying a different, a different setting and all. So what I'm going to do is grab another piston from that set that I still have. I'm going to put this back over and find a couple different parts. Right, let's try a couple different parts. I've got a bolt here that is just, I mean, it's, it's nasty. It's just, uh, it's, it's incredibly nasty. This is an old cam bearing that was pulled out of that block over there. You see me pull it out of the one we're uh, doing the 410 build on. This is just one of the old cam bearings that have been sitting and it's just nasty and crusty. So let's put it in there. And then we got another piston out of that same set and we're gonna set it in here. And I'm gonna set it a little different this time 
and see if we can get it all under the under the solution and and do it a little different this time and this way it doesn't contaminate our results i'm going to set this back down in there put the lid on All right, we'll hit the start button. And this time I'm gonna keep the temperature the same, but I'm gonna bump it up to a 20 minute run instead of a 15 minute run. I'm gonna play with the time first. And then if we don't get the results that we think we should, we'll go to the heat. But I'm already very impressed with this little thing. There we go. We'll see y'all in 20 minutes. All right, I'm down to four minutes left according to this little thing. And I made a mistake the last time that I kind of just realized. I don't think I let it sit long enough to get up to the full 75 degrees. So the last results are probably a little skewed and that's my fault. But I don't think I let it get up to the full 75 degrees. Plus, you know, we were impatient a while ago. We took the lid off, took a peek at it and didn't keep all the heat all sealed in there. So this should be a more appropriate uh, result. Although I gotta say, I am over the moon impressed with, with how this thing done. Uh, it took all the carbon off the piston. Uh, now, there was still some staining on the piston, but it took all the carbon off. That retainer was like brand new. It just, it, it, it's amazing, or not, um, yeah, 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 the retainer. It was like brand new, the spring, the spring was, I'd say 90%. It had some speckles on it, but again, I don't think we let it get up the temperature. Uh, I am highly impressed with this thing so far. So this should be the best possible results, whatever happens now, and we'll see it together. We've got three minutes left. We'll see it together. Um, 20 minutes, and it's at full temperature. So this should be the best possible results we can get out of this thing uh, with these parts. And again, keep in mind, I was finding the crustiest stuff I could find to put in here to kind of give it the extreme. The average parts, just dirty parts you're gonna throw in there and clean up like, you know, I'm gonna use it a lot for say cleaning carburetor bowls. Throw a carburetor bowl in there, it's not gonna be that nasty and that crusty or it shouldn't be. Uh, so you won't have the, the obstacles to overcome that I'm putting it through right now. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm very in, impressed with this. This is. Harbor Freights, uh, this come from Harbor Freight and it's the Central Machinery. They have a smaller one and then this is the bigger one they have. Uh, I chose the bigger one because I wanted something again that I believe I can stick a carburetor main body in. I haven't tried that and clean a main body with it. The smaller one would probably clean these smaller parts but I don't think they would clean anything substantial like a main body. So that was my reasoning behind that. We have two minutes left right here and she's counting down. So uh, hopefully uh, we get to see what's going on here in just a second with these parts. This, I, I, I gotta say I'm impressed with this thing. This thing uh, with no coupons, no discounts, no inside track, just the average Joe walking in off street, this thing's $160. Uh, but I believe it's gonna be one of the better $160 I've spent. So, We'll know for sure once we take these out. And once I get these out, then I'm probably going to go ahead and start uh, throwing some carburetor parts in there, getting them cleaned up because i got a carburetor to build for a customer and sell it. What I like about this is this allows me to, instead of sitting here cleaning by hand, I can chunk parts in here, turn it on, walk off, go work on a motor or another vehicle or something, come back to this. And this is working while I'm working over there. It's almost like having a second employee and... There it is, it's done. It's almost like having a second employee, but uh, one that actually shows up to work. Man, you can hear her in there. She's, uh, she's happy. Look at the steam rolling. Yeah, we did not let this thing get up to temperature before. Y'all was too impatient and wanted to see what was going on.
Uh, ooh, that stuff is hot. How? How? Okay, uh, what y'all probably want to know is that you probably need to let the parts cool off. This confirms that I did not let it get up to temperature a while ago. And then I'm still touching it. Why am I still touching it? still touching this oh so there you go that's uh that's pretty doggone clean that's that's pretty doggone clean i can't i can't be mad about that one let's take this uh bearing that y'all seen that honestly it was so crusty and so rusty that you couldn't even tell what it was. Let's wipe it off real quick. I mean, come on now. Look at the inside of it. Come on. I mean, I'm going to save that and put it in a race car later. You know how hard these things are to find? All right. The last thing is this bolt that literally had so much crud caked up on it, you couldn't see the threads on the bolt anymore. Y'all, uh, I'm, I'm highly impressed. Look at this. Look at this. There was so much crud on that bolt a while ago, you couldn't even tell those threads on it. Look look how nice that bolt is now. Now I tell you what, I'm I'm thoroughly impressed with this little machine right here. I guess the real test now is gonna be the longevity of it because y'all don't think she's gonna get the snot run out of her out here. You got another thing coming. Uh we are going to work this little machine to death out here. I mean, come on, y'all. Come on now. I mean, seriously. Look at that. You know what? I mean, come on now. This is the best money I've spent in this shop to date. Uh, man, I, this thing is amazing. So, if you're thinking about one, it definitely gets a thumbs up from me. Now... I don't know about longevity. You're just gonna have to give me give me a little time. I will do an update. I'm gonna kind of block that heat in there. Uh, I will do an update and uh, down the road at some point, and you'll just have to look for that. But I'm telling you right now, I am thoroughly impressed with this thing. It's uh. Mm. Yeah. Go down to Harbor Freight, check out the Central Machinery uh, Ultrasonic Cleaner. And uh, I would definitely say pick yourself up one if you've got parts to clean. Uh, I'm about to chunk some carburetor parts in here and uh, let this thing go to work while I go back and work on some other stuff. But I definitely, definitely uh, recommend this thing. It is an absolute monster when it comes to cleaning stuff. Uh, I know it was hard for y'all to see how bad this thing was when we started, but it was horrible. Uh, this is probably as impressive as this bolt, and this bolt was horrible. So it's, uh, it's over the top. I'm glad I changed these cam bearings because this one has a big gouge in it right there. Not the point. Anyway, hopefully this answers any questions y'all had about it. Uh, Again, Harbor Freight, walking in the door, no discounts, no inside track, no none of that. It's $169, I believe. It might have been $167, but it was somewhere around $160, between $160 and $170. And uh, man, it's, let's just wait and see what the longevity is like because this right here, uh, I mean, this is a job that I would have paid somebody, you know, $10 or $12 an hour to sit here and clean parts. And uh, 
Now I don't have to. <laughs> this thing will do it for me. So, Y'all have a good day. I hope the Lord blesses you today more than he did yesterday. And uh, God bless y'all. And we'll see you next time. Go out and get yourself one of these. Oh, and don't forget. Pause. Time out. Skirt. Um, help get a subscriber count up. When we get to a thousand, we're going to give that engine away. Or at least we're going to build that engine to give it away. So, um, yeah. Hit the, hit the subscribe button, please, if you haven't. And uh, we'll see you next time.